Well, we're here at the Hummingbird Jägermeister workbench. Dave, we're going off the deep end with Hummingbird. And speaking about trout, it's not necessarily deep where you find a trout. But no, certainly. but you got to love to catch the trout. You know, everybody gets the sh a shot at them. They're very accessible for everybody. You know, you don't have to have a boat to go trout fishing. You can go wading and catch plenty of trout. Um, so they're like the every man's fish. They're, they're good to eat. You know, and they eat just about everything you throw at them if you can find them. That's the, that's the key is, you know, finding the finding them and getting into the good ones. Now, when I start out, I don't like to fish with bait a lot. You know, bait's always always going to work for any kind of fishing, but I don't like to fish with bait a lot, so I, I use a lot of artificial lures. If you're going to fish with bait, you know, a live shrimp, a pogey, a pig fish, you know, a little grunt pig fish is probably the best bait because he gets under there and starts grunting under a cork or something, you're going to bring some fish. But my favorite bait of all is the chug bug for trout. And that's not only for big trout, but just for little trout. And, and in the mornings, that's the first thing that I throw. I mean, I'm, I'm a parcel to top water plug fishing. And just like the fellows were talking about, the trout loves to eat on the top. So he's the great guy to go for. And you know, the, that's the first thing I'll start throwing in the morning. And if I don't get any bites, then I'll switch to a spoon or, or something that I can search with. Uh, a spin. Yeah, a search lure. That's a search great lure. Yeah. And, and, and you know, the gold spoon. So you could throw the gold spoon. Yep, the gold I'll spoon. I'll let you hold that Catches one everything. Here. The biggest trout I've ever caught was on a gold spoon. No kidding. And it was actually a gold spoon that was covered in grass, and I was dragging it across the surface, and a huge trout ate it when it was covered in grass, which is, you know, I don't, I don't recommend that, but they like big stuff. It's amazing how big a that bait. That is a big spoon. It's amazing how big a bait any trout will eat. A 14-inch trout can eat an 8-inch mullet. Right. I mean, you use a big mullet for bait, you catch, you know, very small trout on big mullet baits. So, you know, the size doesn't seem to deter them at all. Now, but you talked about search lures. That's yeah. one of the best ones there is. Paddle tail bait, soft plastic. A little, yep, either with a either Bass with assassin. that or either either with that or with a shrimp on it. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the fish finder rig, you know, put a, a dead shrimp, put him on there backwards, you know, with his tail on here, and let him, you know, go backwards. Right. That's a, a killer thing, but you know, a killer bait. But you should always, you know. Uh, target them if you want to target the great big ones you have to get into real skinny water because they're going to be right up along the bank early early in the morning we always say that the trout you know you go fishing for the trout and redfish you go for the trout early early in the morning because you're going to catch the bigger ones right up against the shore they're ambush feeding on the bait that's moving along the shoreline so that's where you're going to see the, i mean i'm talking four you know, three, four, six inches is, is the most water. And you're gonna see those big gator trout laying up in there. And he's right, they're very skittish when they're up in that real shallow water. So you gotta make long casts. and Weightless, and, weedless. Exactly, as, as much as you can. So you don't even want it to splash a lot when it hits the water, because that can spook them too. So you wanna get out in front of them and, and make long casts when the great big trout are up in that real shallow water. And that's when, that's when you'll catch those great big ones. Early, early in the morning, right as the sun comes up. If you you know if you want to catch the great big ones, and if you start catching little trout, you know if you're in a place in a channel or something, and you're catching little trout and getting lots of bites, you're probably not going to catch any big trout in there with those little ones. They and then, and then they, they also have the obviously the different varieties of clacker cork. Correct. Those are all you know. That's a good way to find fish too. You put you put a uh, a jig or a with a with a soft bait or a shrimp underneath one of those right. and that attracts them from a long way away you know that clacking sound that sounds like a shrimp and they'll come and try to eat that shrimp but they'll also eat a live bait under one of those you know the fellas in on the on the gulf coast use a whole live ballyhoos for, for wow. the big trout so it's a uh, you know trout they're great and they're good to eat 